hasta esa oportunidad y ahí solo porque el telón grande lo, ya lo va a costar ponerlo, o sea, solo ponemos, lo doblamos y ponemos la mitad para proyectar, decía yo, y, y, y va a estar bonito, pues así, y quiero verlo, y mañana miramos eso. Y quiero ver qué más les va a decir. Ah, y el volado tiene que ser pla plateado, teacher. Ajá, así como le dijo la Darly. Y la Jamie. Y, y que, que sea dorado, o sea, que tenga brillo, que sea brilloso. Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Good evening, everyone. Hello, good evening. Hello, can you listen to me? Hello, hello, Carla, Jacqueline, uh, Catherine, Karen, Lorena, Griselda, good evening. Can you listen to me? Margarita, how's everything? Good evening. Okay, good evening. Okay, Jacqueline, I didn't listen to you. Lorena, Karen, no, that's better, hello. right? Hello, hello, uh, to activate your camera. Okay, that's important. Griselda, can you listen to me uh, clearly? Lorena, good evening. Karen, Carla. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. No, yes, I can see that you are able to listen to me. Juan Antonio, how's everything there? Good evening, Juan Antonio. Good evening, teacher. Okay, how's everything there? Fine. Repeat, teacher, please. How are you today? How are you tonight? I fine, thank you. Okay, good. Okay, we're gonna start. You know, uh, as we usually do, we're gonna spend like ten or um, fifteen minutes working in something 
uh, that you have learned during the day. Okay, that's you remember. That's important. Every single day that that we had the opportunity to learn something new in English, well, it's uh, quite important to take advantage of that time. And let us start with Juan Antonio. What's new in English? Um, I I practice the uh, uh, the works um, yesterday. Uh huh. Uh, I will talk about Brasilia. Okay, so you will talk about Brasilia. Um, okay, go ahead with the information about Brasilia. Uh, yes. Brasilia is the federal capital of Brazil. The official dance of Brasilia and the country is samba. Brasilia is full of museums with different collections. Brazil's climate is tropical. People wear light clothing in Brazil. It's um, 11, 11 to night at night. Uh, what time is it in Brazil, Juan Antonio? Now? Ele Eleven, two minutes at nine. Uh, two minutes past 11. Yes. Two minutes past uh, 11. Past 11. Oh my goodness. So uh, it's like, like three hours more, right? Wow. Yes. Quite yes. interesting. Okay. Hey. Is is all teacher. Thank you, Juan Antonio, Brasilia. Now we're gonna start with it, right? So talking okay. about something new that you've learned lately. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, I will try to do it according to the to the list that I have over here. Now, Margarita, good evening. Hey, good evening, teacher. Hi, oh, Margarita. Me. Yeah, let me see, Margarita <laughs> Rivas. Yes. Uh, okay. Um. New vocabulary, and I what, what do you say? Venia, Venia, I will go. Venia, mm -hmm. so in my, uh, in my way, I, I was just coming. I was coming, I was coming, they are listening a song of Michael Jackson, and this song is. Or was Vine, uh, creo que es, eh, creo que era. Um, and I will tell about Vancouver. And it, it is winter season. And then the jacket, a scarf, and gloves, and water shoes, eh, and umbrella. That's it? Yes. Fantastic. Thank you, Margarita. Thank for that information and thank for doing your best effort. Now, Lorena Solomon. Good evening. Lorena Solomon. Hello, Lorena. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hey, what's in English? Ah, OK. Profe, ayer no me, ayer no me pude conectar. Uh, no, you couldn't, but, but I think you learned something today. Creo que, no sé, todos los días tienen la tarea de aprenderse algo nuevo, una palabra, una frase, ok, y traerla al grupo. Mm, no sé si logró aprender algo este día, Lorena. Sí. Ok, tell me. Eh, pues... Eh, hablar sobre, sobre un país. Ah, okay. I, will talk, uh -huh. I will talk about Moscow. Moscow. It, is, it, ha, it is cold city in winter. They, they use gloves, boots, scarves, and winter jackets. And winter jackets. Oh, so that means that the weather there is very cold now. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, now listen, uh, Lorena, el verbo que ocupamos para, para decir que utilizamos ropa es wear. Okay. Okay, wear. Use is, is I mean, use is a verb that we, uh, that, <laughs> that we um, uh, take in order to create uh, sentences about about tools or about some other things, but not about uh, clothes. Okay, but that was really good. Thank you. Thank you, Lorena. Kenny Hernandez, good evening. Lorena, investigate, do me the favor, Lorena, to investigate what's the time in Moscow now. Yes. Inves investigame la hora ahorita, uh, uh, ahorita allá en, en Moscú, por favor, y nos, la, y nos lo dice. A five, five in the evening. It's, morning. It's it's five in the morning. Ah, uh, it's five a.m. Oh, a.m. in the morning. Five. Wow. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Now Kenya. Hello, Kenya. Kenya Hernandez. Good evening. Hello, Kenya. 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 After Kenya, Carla Vanessa, okay? But now Kenya. Kenya, are you there? Hello, hello, Kenya. Good evening. Hello. Well, uh, Kenya is... Aha, uh, uh -huh, Kenya. Kenya. Let's see the chat. Ah, okay. Thanks for letting me know about it, Kenya. So let's continue with Carla Vanessa. Good evening, Carla. Good evening. And after Carla, Glenda, because Glenda is like, hey, teacher, me, I want to, I want to share the information I got. Okay? So go ahead, please. Um, yeah, Carla. Lo que aprendí, ¿verdad? Exactly. No, no. What you okay. learned, and also if you are ready with the information about a city, it would be really nice. Yeah. Um, to, today, learning in, in different word in screen, chilled, and gel. Uh, uh, Son palabras eh, que tienen el mismo significado, okay. pero que se usan eh, para diferente eh, situación. Por ejemplo, eh, screen, que es gritar, es, son como sonidos eh, de pánico. Eh. Yeah. Eh, y chow de gritar. Eh, shout. 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 Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eso es, oh. esa también, eh, el, el, la palabra eh, test y test, que son diferentes, que significan probar, pero son en diferentes circunstancias las que se utilizan. Ok, thank you. But when you use the word scream, yeah, eh, entiendo scream, eh, lleva una M al final, o oh, me equivoco, Carla. Sí, okay. sí, lleva una M al final, screen. Okay. Entonces, pronunciemos el sonido con claridad al final. Y okay. lo mismo con shout. Y, y fíjese que el ejemplo shout. que usted nos trae está muy, muy bonito porque um, yo siempre les he recomendado que cada vez que aprendan una palabra, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, las que ustedes quieran aprenderse, vayan y se aseguren, digamos, en un en un diccionario digital o en un, en, un, en, una, en un link en donde puedan escuchar la pronunciación. Okay. O sea, ya me la aprendí, perfecto, ya sé qué significa shout, ahora voy y lo reafirmo con, con un diccionario digital, okay. o, con, o con una aplicación, como ustedes prefieran, pero es importantísimo que escuchemos la pronunciación. Okay. Thank you, Car Carla, that was fantastic. Okay, thank you. Oh, let me see. Ah, well, I said, mencioné a... Okay, Glenda. Glenda wants to participate. 
Thank you, Vivitni, teacher. Good evening. Okay. The weather in the fall season in Mexico City. Varies day by day. Days can be cold, warm, or rainy. The day are shorty. The weather dirty. The day is howdy. It's humid, windy, cloudy, and warm. During the night and early morning, the temperature feels cold. Since the weather varies too much, it is better to wear work line, including sashes, long sleep t-shirts, jackets, pants, boots, and other any clothes shoes. Okay. So what's the time there? Once again, please, Glenda. Uh, Right now, es la misma hora de acá, es de eight. It's eight o'clock. <laughs> no, it's eleven past eight. Yes. PM. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much. Okay. Now, thank you, Glenda. Now, oh, we're going to try to continue with Karen Beatriz. Hello, Karen. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Uh -huh. um, today I learned about season in Los Angeles, the United States, and now it is, um, what is the pronunciation of otoño, autumn? Autumn? Autumn, okay, it is autumn, and... Uh, this time lasts for September, October, November, and the first days of December. And during this season, uh, the weather is temperate, but during the night can be cool. And people in that country wear t-shirt pants and if the weather is cold and uh, they wear cut that's it teacher. fantastic Karen great team for okay hey I was just checking the the chat estaba chequeando el chat y por ahí están comentando algo muy muy divertido Margarita dice Hey, sometimes uh, I see some videos about some expressions. And uh, for example, what's eating you? Okay, what's eating you? Or what's eating? Um, podría tener doble significado, ¿verdad? What's eating? But, but when you say what's eating you, ¿qué es lo que te preocupa? Okay, son expresiones que también pueden ir uh, recopilando, ¿verdad? Uh, a pesar que el verbo es comer. Pero hey, what's eating you? Es, ¿Qué es lo que te está angustiando tanto? Hey, what's eating you? Great, thank you. Hey, me gusta porque es justamente el tema que tenemos por ahí pendiente. Let's see. Hey, Karel, uh, Karel, sorry. Karel, good evening. Karel, uh, I don't know if Karel is going to be able to participate tonight. Karel, yeah. Karel, good evening. Carol. Carol. Well, we're going to try with uh, Josue Artiga. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, 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 today I was working, but in the morning I, I do my homework. <laughs> uh, uh, the homework was uh, about picking out a uh, uh, city that we would you like to talking about. So I picked out Los Angeles because uh, I have some friends living in there, and they tell me that it's a good city to visit. Uh, Los Angeles uh, have to have for season in all the years but they tell me that the better season to visit 
district to Los Angeles are spring and autumn. Uh, the people there uh, wearing wear normal 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 dress, for example, uh, for for men's they use cup and t-shirts and and shorts and sandals. And for women, the same blouses and t-shirts <laughs> and sandals. Uh, and that's it. Okay, okay, thank you, jo uh, Josue. Thank you very much. And remember, Josue, that the verb that we use to talk about clothes, I, I mean, in español, decimos, yo uso cierto tipo de, de, de ropa, pero en inglés hay, hay dos verbos, está use y está wear. Cuando hablamos de ponernos ropa, usamos wear. Ok, no nos olvidemos de eso, ok. But the information was fantastic, Jose. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. Okay, now, uh, let me see, because 15 minutes are gone. Ya se fueron los 15 minutos para chequear tarea, pero si aún queda alguien que quiera participar, bienvenido sea. Volunteers, thank you, Goretti. Go ahead. Hello, teacher. Uh, my homework is very short, but um, the city is London. Uh, London is the capital of England in Europe. It's a cold um, time of year. Um, the sky is cloudy. Uh, now it's 2.20 uh, a.m. And the people uh, were uh, for winter clothing and bought and long pants and coat and rain coat and for when the rain sometimes uh, it's only teacher wow great info Goretti. thank you very much for sharing such info it's quite interesting okay now is there anybody else who wants to share the homework with with the group thank you ingrid good evening good evening <clears throat> este, bueno, ando en la calle, no sé si me logra escuchar bien, yeah, pero eh, bueno, Brasilia, the climate of the country capital is tropical savanna, with two seasons depending on the degree, the humidity in the air, one season is dry and temperate, with the other is humid and warm. Like lo, cotton clothing is warm, for example, shirts, t-shirts, blues, etc. Okay, thank you, Ingrid. Thanks for sharing the info. Uh, that was quite good. Listen, every effort uh, in learning a second language, that's... Uh, Fantastic, Ingrid. Let me see. Ah, oh, well, Ingrid is sharing Eso the era. No sé si estará bien, pero yeah. ajá, por si okay. no me escuchó bien. Yeah, we do. We listen to you perfectly. I will tell you about Brazil. The climate of the country, its capital is a tropical savanna with two seasons depending on the degree of humidity. Okay, thank you very much. I like it. So, do you have the information, Ingrid? Thank Pre you. Present, thank you. Presented tonight. Uh, let me see. I think we it's time to start with the class. Okay, you know, we have a, a topic that I wanna I wanna share with you. Later I will provide some some um I, I will let you know what I think about what you have presented tonight. Okay. I will react about about the performance of the homework tonight. Now, hey, we're gonna see, there is something that we need okay, to take into consideration when talking, okay, in English, that is rising and falling intonation. And what is rising and what's falling intonation? Well, we're gonna see the information in the, in the video. Later, 
Uh, well, we're gonna practice also, as you can see over here, you will you will see like two different uh, questions, right? This is, what type of question is this one, people? What type of question is this one? What type of question is this one? It's a progressive question. It's a it's a question uh, in in pre, in present progressive or present continuous. What else? Do you, you remember it's a yes no question? Yes or no? It's a yes no question. Yes or no? You say is she getting up? Yes, she is or no, she isn't. Is that right? Are they yes. sleeping? Yes, they yeah. are or no, they aren't. Okay, so what happened with those questions? You will notice that the raising intonation is going to take place with this with this type of question, right? But when we have double H questions, the, you are going to notice that the intonation is going to fall. Okay, so, but I think this guy is going to explain it better than myself. So pay attention and let's try to get as much info about it because as I said, like um, in previous classes, this is um, simple information, but uh, significant at the same time. Okay, basic information, but significant. Pay Hi everyone. In this class, you learn about rising and falling intonation in yes or no questions and WH questions. Let's get started by understanding intonation. Pitch is raising and lowering the tone of voice while speaking. The use of pitch is called intonation. Understanding English intonation will increase not only your spoken English competency, but your English comprehension as well. Intonation is used to convey meaning. For example, you have the same set of words in two separate sentences. But in one, the meaning may be different than in the other due to intonation. In this class, we'll focus on yes or no questions and WH questions and how intonation gives meaning. Let's listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes or no and WH questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Okay, did you notice about the intonation? Or do you wanna to you wanna listen to it again? Pay attention. I want you to notice the way the, the guy pronounces the, the yes no question, also the double H question in English. Now it's going to happen in I think in the majority of the tenses. Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Sorry. Are they sleeping? Or no, and WS questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Well, there are many exceptions and rules to follow. In general, we can follow these two simple rules. For yes and no questions, there will be a rising intonation. For example, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? For WH questions, there will be a falling intonation. For example, what's she doing? What are they doing? This now, can you notice about the difference? Can somebody help me to read this one? Is she getting up? Mm, and what about this one? What is she doing? Mm, tell me about this. Is she getting up? No, I mean the second one. Are they... Ah, are they sleeping? Mm -hmm. And the, this one? What are they, they what doing? Are doing? Now we're going to try to exaggerate. Vamos a exagerarlo para que vean 
la importancia, okay? The, the falling and, uh, and rising intonation. <clears throat> when we have just no question, uh, if you notice the guy said, generally we're gonna follow these rules. So that means that every single time we, we see a just no question, so that means that we're gonna, we're gonna use a rising intonation. And whenever we see a double H a question, then we're gonna use falling intonation. That's why it's very important to learn it just right now. Is she getting up? No, I'm exaggerating, up. right? Estoy exagerando. Are they sleeping? Okay. Now, rising intonation, falling intonation. What's she doing? What are they doing? Now, I hope you can see it, right? I hope you can see it. We're, I will try with, with another person. Can somebody else read this one? Well, is you getting up? Wow, fantastic. Oh. What about this one? Are they sleeping? Mm, is are, that they falling? Sleeping? are they falling or rising? Is she are getting up? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Are they sleeping? Okay, so, okay, very good. Now, what about this? <clears throat> What's she doing? Fantastic. And this one? What are they, do they doing? What are they doing? What, what are, they, are doing? they doing? We don't say like, what's she doing? No. What are they doing? No, that's that's we just no question, right? So what we, we're falling, say, what's she doing? What are they doing? She so doing? that's the opposite, right? So we're going to try to finish. What's she doing? What are they doing? This topic along with all the other pronunciation topics require careful listening and to practice. I would like for you to listen carefully to your favorite English TV program and notice the rising and falling intonation of yes or no questions and WH questions. Okay. Hi. So that's the information about falling and rising intonation. We're gonna see what's what do you what you remember about it? Okay, so we're gonna see this information, and it says, listen and practice. Notice the intonation of the yes, no, and double H questions, and select the correct intonation. <laughs> okay, Margarita, I can see your explanation in the chat. Okay, but somehow that's the way it is, right? So we're gonna try to practice this now and. Listen. One. Are you wearing a coat? Now, what is that? Rising or falling? Rising. 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 What, what was the question? Or oh, what is the question? Are you wearing a coat? Are you wearing a coat? Again, let's listen to the next one. Are you wearing one. a coat? Well, my goodness, I, I will, I will, uh, let's see. I will try once again, and we're gonna, we're gonna listen to it only once, and then we're gonna see. One, are you wearing a coat? Two, what are you doing now? What are you doing now? Three. It's five. What time is it? What time is it? Four. Is it midnight? Five. What color is his t-shirt? Six. Are you from Thailand? Are you from Thailand? All right, so in the first one you said that's rising, right? Now, what about number two? Falling? Falling, can you read the question, Falling. please? What are, are you doing now? now? What are you doing what now? You, what you're doing now? Are you what doing time now? is it? It's uh -huh. falling what? two and three. Falling. It's falling. What time is it falling? Uh, uh, is it midnight? It's the midnight. Rising. Rising. That's rising, <laughs> right? And what about this one, number five? Falling. Falling. Yeah, do me the favor to read the question. Are you from Thailand? It's no, I crazy. mean, no, number five, oh. number five, please. Oh, okay. What color is the t-shirt? 
Good. Now, number six. Are you from Thailand? It's rising. It's rising. All right. Great job. Great job. Okay, so now I can see that you identify when the intonation is rising and when it's falling, right? Uh, Carla, I don't know if you have any question. Sí. Eh, yo no entendí muy bien el tema. O sea, sí entiendo que es donde hay una mayor eh, sonido, ya sea decreciente o, o creciente, ¿verdad? Exacto. Pero no logro cómo identificar el sonido cuando es eh, falling o uh, cuando or es... Rising. Uh -huh. well, the first no, no lo that... logro identificar. Uh, the same happens to Carol. Don't worry because this is a process. Remember that the more you practice, the more you get accustomed to English. Now, first rule, first rule, first rule is that, you know, it's going to be rising intonation when you have a yes, no question, right? So and then you say, are you wearing a coat? So it's, it's rising intonation, right? But when you have a just no, I'm sorry, when you have a, a, this is the second rule, right? Rule number two, when you have um, double H question, like, what are you doing now? So the, the intonation falls. Okay. The intonation falls. So what, what, what is your task now? What is your, what, what do you need to do in order to improve or to practice this? Well, go and look for as many questions as possible and try to get the, the intonation. Okay? Esto es, esto es pura práctica, es puro oído, okay? Para okay. acostumbrarnos, para acostumbrarnos, okay, podemos seguir las dos reglas. Bueno, cuando es yes, no question, entonces va, la entonación sube. Cuando es uh, double, o pregunta abierta, entonces la entonación cae, ok, ya lo sé pero si aún me cuesta como eh, identificar entonces lo que debo de hacer es escuchar más yes no questions y escuchar más double H question words entonces allí como ir haciendo las comparaciones por ejemplo um, are you are you a good student are you a good student okay, that will be like the, the rising right so, but if I say, why are you a good student? Ah, entonces ahí tengo la, la pregunta de sí o no y la pregunta abierta. ¿Eres buen estudiante? Okay, sí o no. Luego, ¿por qué consideras que, es un, que eres un buen estudiante? Entonces ahí tengo las dos preguntas. Las escucho y eh, eh, presto atención a la entonación y ahí pues lo vamos definiendo mejor. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. Now, let's see, okay, because of the time, we're gonna go, I need to see this information here. Let me see, there is, I think there is a, uh, Carol has a question over here. Yeah, Carol, second is falling, right? Is it because it's a double H, a double H question. Carol? Okay. Okay, very good. Now we're gonna see this info, people, you know, as I as we usually do. We have like extra information over here. We're gonna see uh present continuous uh in this in this uh, time we're gonna see double H question form of the present continue or present progressive. And are uh, you welcome, Carol? And I will share the link. Remember, all the links are important for you to for you to practice. Okay, I will share the first one. Then the second one, I will do it at once. And the third, and the third one I have here. Wait, these are the links that we are gonna try to, to study tonight, okay? So I was just telling you about present continuous and double H question where is the following? We have, you know, this is like the order. We have the order or the pattern, 
Okay, we're gonna we're gonna see in like part. How do we form the double H questions in in present progressive? Well, you know, first we're gonna have the double H question word: where, what, when, who, why, how, etc. Because there are more. After that, we're gonna have the verb to be. Okay. Are, is, or am, right? Uh, they can, you can use, you can also use am. Okay. And after that, you will have the subject. Are uh, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, Mike, the teacher, they, etc. After that, you're going to have a verb in ing form. Going, watching, leaving, taking, saying, coming, and a compliment, right? Uh, where are you going to? What is she watching on TV? When is when is Mike leaving school? Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Why is the teacher saying that? How are they, how are they uh, coming here? Okay, so Double H question words are the beginning of sin of a sin, of the sentence. After them, we use auxiliary verb in the subject. We don't use yes no in the answer. Okay, it cannot be possible. Those are just no questions. But over here we are talking about double H question where question asks for the place. For example, where is she living? Uh, she's living in New York. Where are they meeting your friends? I'm meeting them at the school. What question? Information about something. What are you eating? I'm eating fruits. What are you reading? I'm reading a funny book. When? Talking about time. Asking for about or asking about time. When are you meeting your father? I'm meeting him at night. When is she coming home? She's coming home late today. Who? When you want to ask about a person. Who, who is she talking on the phone? She's talking to her mother. Who are they traveling with? They are traveling with Tom. Why? Reason or explanation? Was she crying? She's crying because she lost the toy, her toy car. Why are we waiting here? We're waiting here because I cannot find my keys. And the last one, how? The way to do something. The way to do. Or it's about manner. How is Sally singing? She's singing very well. Okay. How are they going to work? I'm going there by train. And then you have more, right? But over here, you you, you have like the pattern, pattern about creating double H questions in English which is something that I consider important. Now, we're gonna practice. How do you complete the first question, people? What you do? Quickly, please. What do you do? No, no. It's because we have- What are you doing? Uh, uh -huh. What are you doing? Hey, what, uh, what are you doing? And the question number two, why laugh the girl? Why? Why is down the girl? Why? Why? Why is? Is down. Why is? Now. Okay, laugh is the is the is the verb laugh. Cuando encuentren así, laugh, la U, la G y la H suena como F, ¿ok? Laugh the girl. What is she doing? Why is the girl laugh. laughing? Laughing. Mm. Why is the girl laughing? Sleep the cat. Mm -hmm. 
Where? Where are or is? Because we have only one cat. Where right? is? What is the cat Where, sleeping? Where's the cat Where sleeping? sleeping? Where's the cat sleeping? Okay. Where's the cat sleeping? Who talk to you? Who talk to you? Who is talking to you? Uh, nobody say you. Where is the Where is the form of the verb to be that we use? Are. Oh okay. yeah, am is are. We only have three yeah. options, right? Is and are, and then we have you. You are. Who? Are. Who are? Who are you? Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? All right. Come they. When are they? When are coming? They um, coming. Where are they coming? How travel you? Who are? How? How are you? Traveling. Traveling, right? Where are you traveling? How many cakes eat it? Is woman is eating? Is it it is it eating? And uh, what read I? Um, I am. What am? Ah, what am? Uh huh. Reading. What a, am I? Reading. What am I reading? Uh, where is the she? Is she staying? Where is she? Where is she staying? Where is she? Where is she staying? How much beer? How much beer are you drinking? Are you drinking? Are you drinking? Okay, we're gonna check. Oh, we got the 100%. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So I think it's not that difficult, right? And in order to finish, people, let me see, because we still have some time. Yeah. Okay, so we have different questions over here. Okay, different questions, okay? Like, uh, in order, because what I'm looking for is for you to create a conversation. Okay, to create a conversation in present continuous, okay? So actually we know questions, double H questions, and also just no questions. Some examples are, what are you doing? What are you working on? Are you doing anything later? How are you feeling? Okay, and you have the grammar reminder statement structure, such as we are waiting for the past. Now, subject, the verb to be, Conjugated in ing form, okay. Uh, I mean, they were to be conjugated and also another very in ing form. This is a structure, right? What sub uh, uh, we subject sorry are the verb to be conjugation waiting a uh, very in ing plus a complement. I'm playing video games with my son. Okay, what about? What would be the double H question for this one? I, I, or I mean, what is the yes no question? But tenemos, acá tenemos oraciones positivas. ¿Cómo diría la pregunta de sí o no? ¿Y cómo diría la pregunta abierta? Con la misma oración. If we want, si quisiésemos... Si quisiésemos convertir esta, esta oración en pregunta, ¿cómo lo haríamos? Si fuera are, una yes, no question. Are we 
Are we? Are you? Um, uh, it may be right. Are so, you? Si se, puede, si se puede así, are, are we? You? Are we or are you? Depende de lo que queramos decir, ¿verdad? Porque ellos dicen, estamos esperando el bus. Entonces, le, les podemos preguntar a ellos, ¿están ustedes esperando el bus? Ok, mm -hmm. aunque si ponemos, are we? Estamos esperando el bus. O sea, ahí depende la intención que usted tenga de preguntar, ¿ok? Las dos están correctas porque estamos hablando de pura gramática. ¿De acuerdo? Mm -hmm. So, let's see. Uh, are you waiting? Are you waiting for the bus? Mm -hmm. So, if we wanted to create a double H question, what will be that? What are you doing? Okay, what are you doing? Podría ser una. What are you doing? I'm, I, we are waiting for the part. Where are, what are you doing? Now, if we want to ask for reason. Si quisiéramos preguntar por... Hacer una con... Que nos den una razón por la cual ellos están esperando el público. Reason? Why? Because it's late. Aha, why are you waiting? Why are you waiting? Imagínense, ellos siempre viajan en vehículo, en carro propio, y de repente los vemos en la parada de bus y decimos, hey, why are you waiting for the bus? Ok. Why are you waiting for the bus? Entonces ahí ya nos pueden dar una razón por la cual están esperando el bus. Why are you waiting for Exactly, Cara. That's the way it is. Ok. Now, same story with, with this sentence. Hagamos, hagamos el ejercicio con, con dos oraciones más y ya luego vamos a ir cerrando. Ok. Teacher, is Hello. the first question is the verb to be. And at the two, beginning, three, uh -huh, is the W W question. W H question exactly. In, um, the three case uh, is affirmative. Yes. Uh, in this part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all of these ones are affirmative. So estas son affirmative. Ah, no, let me see. I'm playing video games with my son. Positive, positive. La última es negativa. Las últimas tres son negativas. Dos creo que son acá. Pero de ahí, estas son positivas. She's in talking negative, to her mom. In negative is always not. Really? It's, yeah, exactly. Okay, so when we say, for example, she's talking to her mom, what would be the yes, no question? Is she talking to her mom? Is she talking to her mom? Okay, remember about intonation, right? Rising and falling intonation. Uh-huh. And what would be the double H? Uh, the what is she? Why is she talking to her mom? Why is she talking to her mom if she knows that she's really angry now? Okay? Porque él está hablando a su mamá si sabe que ahorita está muy, muy enojada. Okay, podría ser una, o sea, para completar la idea. Porque solo decimos, hey, ¿por qué está hablando con su madre, con su mamá? Okay. Pero depende de los contextos, okay? So we have more examples. Where are you going? Uh, what, is she, what is she drinking? How are you doing? Why aren't they working? Why aren't uh, they not working? Okay, so I think it's enough, right? So you have more information and you have a lot of questions here. Si ustedes se dan cuenta, hay muchos, muchos ejemplos de preguntas, okay, de, de oraciones que podemos utilizar en una conversación. 
Okay, entonces, yo elegí esta página para que ustedes tengan muchos ejemplos de oraciones que puedan usar en una conversación, porque para ahí vamos dirigiéndonos. Eh, de hecho, let me see, I will stop eh, sharing. De hecho, pues el día de mañana, si ustedes uh, les gustaría adelantar, pueden buscar una conversación en la web. Si no tienen el tiempo como para crearla, la pueden buscar en la web y em eh, empezar a, a practicar, ¿verdad? O a modificarle algo a esa conversación porque mañana eh, van a trabajar en parejas, ¿ok? Van a trabajar en parejas en la creación y en la ejecución de una conversación utilizando just no questions y utilizando double edge questions in English and in ING form, of course. Por supuesto, utilizando el presente continuo, que es lo que hemos estado estudiando recientemente. Well, <clears throat> no sé si hay preguntas. Carol. No escucho, yo estoy con mi teléfono. Eh, solamente tengo una pregunta. Eh, es que ahora recibí una llamada en la que me dijeron de que yo no había estado presente en la clase de ayer y me preguntaron el motivo y entonces yo quería saber si, hay el, si puedo cambiar eso o ya quedó así como que no estuve en la clase porque de hecho sí estuve, pero no sé por qué aparece que no estuve. Permítame. Ups, no tengo la mano listado. Fíjese, Carl, que cuando eso sucede, el sistema registra, bueno, no sé si ustedes ya lo sabían, pero el sistema registra cada minuto que ustedes están en, en la sesión. Recuérdense que las sesiones son de 60 minutos y si ustedes um, entran nada más 20 minutos, 30 minutos, lo Ay. que ustedes... Eh, inviertan en la sesión, pues eso queda registrado automáticamente en el sistema. Es por ello que cuando los compañeros notan que alguien está ausente, les hacen alguna llamada o les escriben un mensaje preguntando la razón. Eh, de hecho, ya el tiempo ya no, ya no se puede recuperar sí. en ese sentido, uh -huh. eh, pero sí queda registrado. Eh, digamos que usted tuvo algún inconveniente, alguna falla técnica, entonces cuando ellos le marquen, usted dice, mire, este, por esta razón, yo no pude conectarme. Entonces ya ellos escriben en el, en el, en el registro el por qué usted no se conectó. Uh -huh. Sí, yo entiendo eso, pero mi pregunta es si puedo cambiar es porque sí estuve en la clase. Entonces, cuando a mí me llamó ahora una persona para preguntarme por qué no había podido asistir a ir a la clase, me quedé como pensando y le dije yo de que sí había estado en la clase. Entonces, no sé si hay alguna manera en la cual ellos verifican o eso queda como una ausencia. Pues habrá no. sido algún error, me imagino. Vaya, fíjese que en ese caso, si usted sí si efectivamente estuvo conectada, entonces... Sí, a la, cl la clase completa. Vaya, entonces no, allí este, ellos registran de que sí usted estuvo Usted estuvo en la clase, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y, pero déjeme ver, Karel. Déjeme ver, porque yo tengo el listado, tengo acceso a ver, este, eh, qué es lo que es lo que hay ahí, oye. Pero sí, sí este, si usted estuvo en la clase, tu, el sistema tuvo que haberle registrado todo el tiempo que usted estuvo en la clase. Mm, ok, teacher. Okay. Otra pregunta, los links que nos pone acá en el chat, ¿hay alguna manera de ponerlos en el chat del grupo? Porque cuando cerramos aquí la sesión, pues eso ya no lo podemos ver. Y me imagino que eso no está en la plataforma. No, mm. eso no está en, no. Pla en la plataforma, pero creo que eh, mm. hay siempre hay algún compañero que los comparte en el grupo. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Entonces, mm. este, ahí quedan registrados en el grupo de WhatsApp, Karen. Ok, teacher. Gracias. Ok. So, recuerden, tengan en mente que el día de mañana lo de siempre va a ser hey, ¿qué aprendiste este día? eso es lo primerito segundo, recuerden que deben de tener a la mano una conversación con presente continuo que lleve yes no questions sin double edge questions eh, ok, para yo notar eh, el avance que hemos tenido con respecto al tema ¿les parece? Eh, pueden buscar una conversación en la red 
eh, para nada más, digamos, ustedes modificarlas y ponerla en práctica el día de mañana. El día de mañana van a trabajar en parejas, ¿ok? Van a tener un tiempo para practicar la conversación, que unos 10, 15 minutos, lo mucho, y ya luego este, decirnos la acá en, eh, de manera general. ¿Qué es lo uh -huh. que voy a notar yo ahí? Pronunciación, intonación, que es lo que hemos estado viendo, uh -huh. ¿ok? Y cómo se desenvuelven en una conversación en Con inglés. Con present continuous. Con present continuous. Ok, thank you, teacher. Ok, creo que nos quedamos por acá. Ha sido un placer. See you tomorrow. Good night. Ok, thank you. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye, 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 bye. Gracias, te sé. Ay, es que me parece.